Hello, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today, I'm going to go through all of this stuff. We have all the crewnecks from the past videos buyout. If you guys have not watched the last video, I made a deal with my homie Gage, my wholesaler, and he sold me a giant box of shirts, which is under this table, and all of these crewnecks for $150. I haven't really looked through any of it, so that's what this video is gonna be. We're gonna follow up. A lot of you guys wanted to see what is in this deal. We're gonna go through everything together and see if this deal was worth it. I honestly think it's definitely gonna be worth it for 150 bucks for probably like 200 pieces. So we're gonna go through everything. We're gonna go through it pretty quick and I'm just gonna be separating it by like stuff that I would keep to sell on Depop or wholesale and if there's anything in here that I just don't think I can make any money on then I'll probably put that in like a donate pile but we're gonna be separating some stuff going through some stuff pretty quick so make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed and let's get into it okay here is everything there is the giant box it is busting out at the corners as you guys can see here are all the crewnecks I'm gonna do the crewnecks last I'm gonna go through the box first since it's mostly shirts there were five extra bonus items. If you guys saw the video, like I mentioned, there were five extra bonus items that he threw in to make the deal happen to kind of seal the deal. And first was this antique person shirt. Next was this like screen printed, the mountain like tiger shirt. We got that one. This one size large made in USA. We got the like cheetah striped tee. And then two more items that were thrown into the deal, the single stitch St. Martin kind of like all over marbled print tee. And then we have the like loveless grandma style sweater. These five items plus this giant box of shirts and then all of these crewnecks were $150. So yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna go through everything. All right, you guys, here's the box. We're just gonna go through the shirts first. If there's anything extraordinary, I will call it out and talk about it for a little bit. But if not, I'm just gonna be flashing every single piece and kind of separating it into little piles. And yeah, let's do it. So we got the guitar Fender tee right there this is pretty good I'll definitely keep that to throw on depop 2015 long sleeve nascar tee honestly this was one of the tees that like when i saw this in the box i was like this is an easy 20 dollars shirt on depop so it'd be kind of dumb if i didn't make this deal because what else could there be in here i mean there could be nothing else that great in here i don't know but like i feel like this alone is like 20 bucks and part of the reason why i did this deal too is i have not gone to the bins in probably like three months i've been really really bad with sourcing recently just because it's summer i've been doing some other things and summertime like at the bins is like a daycare there's just a bunch of like younger kids there and i just don't want to deal with it and it's really hot in there too so this will definitely get me probably through the rest of the summer so it kind of makes my sourcing life really easy so even though it's kind of like lower in inventory i thought i might just do it so i can keep my depop stocked i do post on depop every single day i've kind of weaned it down to around like three to six items a day. I was doing 10 items a day for like almost two years. So I do post a little bit less on Depop, but I still want to be posting every day just to stay consistent within the algorithm and stuff like that. So Italian festival, see something like this, like I'll probably just throw it on Depop for maybe like 15 bucks, but it will probably sit forever. It might not sell. We got some nice spaghetti and meatballs right there though, making me hungry. But something like this is like something I'll still probably just post on Depop, but I would not be opposed to just getting rid of it like super cheap down the line. This one actually is definitely like a cooler an out shirt so this one will probably go to depop dole plantation white this is actually sick this kind of like gives me arty vibes hawaiian rules this one has some distressing i do really like the graphic i think the color on the graphic is really cool planet hollywood here's the graphic sorry the lighting's like not the best it's like a light blue tea top 10 reasons to procrastinate it's just a city of SeaTac volunteer shirt. So obviously like the content of it isn't the best. Salt Lake City, just little like little native art piece. New York, size XL. This one's a little bit discolored. We have the Beer Factor. This is the Fear Factor Rip shirt. It's a medium, it is smaller. Kind of bummed about that. This is like Adidas soccer tee. We have the Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive. This one is double stitched all the way around. Just like some sort of like college football shirt. This is also probably gonna be like super slow seller. Not really sure what to do with that. This is like a Holland American cruise ship. I feel like cruise cruise tees like do not do well. Oh, this is cool. This is like a flower art tee. This one is single stitch on the sleeves, double on the bottom. It's kind of like a flower-esque art tee. Give a man a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he will sit in a boat and drink beer all day. Fish 24 seven. Okay, so if you guys watch the video, I bought a bunch of like fishing shirts and I honestly think shirts like this, like fishing related or just like kind of dad joke related shirts, they do sell well on Depop. So that will go to Depop. 
Massimo. So that might be a good one. Random abstract. This is kind of sick, honestly. This is just like a random abstract all over print tee. It's single stitched all the way around. We have a tank top. I hate tank tops. They sell so slow. Like even if they're cool, like they take forever to sell. Really nice fade on it. Like navy blue, Australia tee, fully embroidered, like touristy New York shirt. Patagonia. I'm pretty sure these don't have like any value. Oh yeah, he showed me this one. It's just the Nike swoosh on the back. Double XL made in USA white tag, but there's nothing on the front. We are to the next layer, as you guys can see, next layer of the box. Here's what we're looking at. I think there's probably gonna be like four layers or so. So we got a lot to go through. What is this one? This one is a size medium Del Sol. Okay, so this is one of those color changing shirts, double stitched all the way around. I'm gonna have to make sure that it's still color changes. We have a true micro brew, the Taps Brewery. So like, this is just like a local brewery shirt from the nineties. Not sure who's gonna want that. Oh, this is kind of cool. Tie dyed Washington DC. This is like a nineties or like late 2000s one. Relay for life, like cancer, tees it is a 2xl in the toltex blank so good blank but i think i maybe sold one of these like years ago and i got like 12 bucks or something for it we have a golf tee and like embroidered and like grandma style details someone's grandma's out there golfing this one's double stitch really good condition though i do like the color that one will also probably go to depop the ultimate like grandma golf collab that one is uh that one's pretty interesting just a destination tee on an anvil like a 90s anvil tag oh my god how many washington D t-shirts do we have this one is actually the same exact graphic as the tie-dyed one size large but it's not tie-dyed and it's like in dead stock condition pretty sure no one's gonna want a shirt for a police motorcycle competition this is another golf tee friends of dialysis golf tournament <laughs> Okay, what the heck is this? Charlie's Angels 2000 and I don't think this is a Charlie's Angel movie tee, but Gildan 2XL, Charlie's Angels 2006. If anybody has any info, let me know. This might be like a shirt that like a group of friends just made for like each other. It does have like a stain right here, but size large, inaugural four wide drag racing the strip. This is dope, 1995, single stitch. This is definitely really cool. That will go into Depop, the Maui Bay. You got the Clinton Presidential Center, two different flags, and then the Support Our Troops back hit. Fully embroidered Orlando, Florida. Winter Youth Celebration for something that I do not know. This one has some like distressing, but it's kind of like nice distressing, like little holes through the back and stuff, like looks very worn in. The graphic is pretty cool. Georgetown, the Georgetown 10K. This is a long sleeve for some sort of like run. The wood boat what the heck is this we got the higgins like rendezvous antique bob lando like there's so much text on this tee radio tee not really sure have you ever actually heard of this son of a bitch you can on holocrafter short wave receivers this is this is sick i don't know like who this is or what this is referencing but the fact that it just says have you ever actually heard this son of a bitch it's so funny. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to hear it, but I am sweating so bad, so I had to turn on my AC. So hopefully it's not like super annoying in the background, but I'm I'm sweating, so I gotta turn it on. Some sort of high school with some sort of mascot. I don't know. Oh, we got a Harvard tee. Dang, this is like a dead stock Harvard tee. Haynes Beefy XL, like a good tag too. Is this front and back or just the front? Oh, it's like just a little Harvard right there with the sleeve hit. This might be like an eBay item, honestly. This is like in dead stock condition, single stitch all the way around. We got the Harvard long sleeve, Seattle Brewing Company. But this back kit is dope, the Aviator Ale. It's so late in the video to be mentioning this and we still have so much to go. But if you guys would like any of this stuff, just hit me up on Instagram. That's gonna be the best way to get in contact with me. If you guys want any of these shirts, if you guys want a couple of them, please hit me up. I'll definitely hook it up if you guys want like five or so of them. So yeah, just let me know, I'm trying to get rid of these. This is like an old time hot rod, like vehicle type of tee, but it also is like a radio amateur news. This one's pretty dope. This is a port and company tag, so 2000s, but I do really like that graphic. The graphic on this one is pretty dope and it does have a really nice fade front and back hit. Oh, this is dope. The fab shop truck equipment long sleeve, the flame sleeve print. I'm not gonna be able to read that at all, but it looks like some sort of castle graphic on that one is pretty cool though this one is super soft does have a front and back hit with all of the like sponsors though so this is sick yo this is sick it says wanna go bump in the night this one is double stitched all the way around but this is really cool like a 
definitely a sleep tee, but it's like a Halloween themed one. Want to go bump in the night? Polar Endeavor. Yeah, that one's probably just going to like get donated. Tropical Sunshine, front and back, Mexico tee. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is Garrett? Who is Garrett? Is your name Garrett? Leave a comment. XL, single stitched. Alaska Troop 6. There's nothing on the back. That'll probably go into like the donate pile. Single stitch Bahamas tee. Moab, Utah tee. This is like a 2000s one. Really nice fade. Community Connection City of Tacoma. Cabo San Lucas. Yeah, this one's just like a tourist fish shirt. Oh, this is just a Dockers. Like a Dockers. Pretty sure they just make like blank shirts and maybe underwear and stuff, but we have the Dockers faded pocket tee. Really like the color on it, like the neon green Palm Springs tee. Red Rock State Park, Arizona. This one's really cool and it actually has print right up here on the collar, which that's really cool. Never seen that before. That's kind of interesting. Italy tee with a nice little like dual collar details, fully embroidered. Ocean Shores, Washington, like just small little graphic print. That is just gonna go in the donate. Orcas Island, little embroidered tee. Folk Life Northwest Festival, 1999. Cool graphic, but it is a tank top, unfortunately. I hate tank tops. I'm just like not a fan of these shirts that have like the small print and then the big print on the back unless like the back print is absolutely crazy i feel like these shirts like take longer to sell here we have another tank top beach volleyball lake tahoe oh, we have a made in usa nike let me guess tank top if this is a nike tank top though yeah it is this is sick okay this is something that would definitely sell men's media made in usa you have the like gray tag nike gray tag that's definitely a good tag and then it looks like it's blank except for this little hit down here single stitch but yeah just the little hit nike made in usa this is actually really sick this would be like a really nice essential for summer all right we're on to the next layer here's the next layer i'm telling you guys we probably have Maybe at least one more under here, at least one more layer, but I see like a biker tee. I'm gonna grab this one first. What is this? Run to the res two. This is like a native biker tee, front and back prints, the Apache Gold Casino in Arizona. Fly fishing, Eddie Bauer. This graphic is actually really cool. Like the old time kind of logo, Eddie Bauer, the thrashed Sports Illustrated, just the like logo hit. This one definitely has some stains in it though. Gonna have to be stain treated. Autumn, just the little leaves right there. UNICEF, single stitched. It looks dead stock on the nice cream blank with the like bear paw. Truck bash, four wheeler, four wheeler something. Year 2000, <laughs> size large. This will defend some sort of military shirts. It's the homish classic. This is just like a hot rod tee. The back hit is really dope though. You got a Bud Light American flag tee. This tee is actually dope. I wish I had this tee before the fourth. Someone probably would have bought it, but yeah, this is pretty clean, honestly. Bud Light. Size large, year 2001. Someone will definitely buy that on Depop for probably like 20 bucks. EWU Eagles football, single stitch all the way around. This is an establishment near me. This is single stitched all the way around. We have Sin City. This will definitely be a Depop tee. Drinking, beach balling. The lesbian gay chorus of San Francisco. That's pretty dope. Single stitched on the Onita tag, size XL. Here's the back hit again if you didn't see it. Deep Space Cubs, Midnight Sun Day Camp. Don't know. Graphics pretty cool though. There are two types of people, those who make things happen and those who wish they did. Redline. Redline sportswear. Eagle tag, made in USA, single stitch all the way around. Okay. We're getting inspirational. Oh, the Super Maestro. I remember this shirt. So a lot of these shirts I have seen before, but I passed on them. I just didn't know they made their way into this box. XL single stitched, the Super Maestro. <laughs> I don't know. The graphic on this is actually pretty dope. I mean, it has like very specific location and numbering, but I do like that like drawing right there. So yeah, the sound of narrows. Yeah, that's like a, a run, a local run that happens around here, Tacoma, Washington, 1997. I'm kind of losing it, you guys. I still have all the crew necks to go through too. Oh my God, this video is gonna be so long. Balboa, Balboa Island. I'm pretty sure that's what that says. I can't read cursive that well. This is Steve McC who is this? I'm gonna say Steve McQueen and people are gonna be like, that's not Steve McQueen, you idiot. Who is this? Leave it in the comments. Who are these two gentlemen? What? What? Wait, this is... <laughs> Wait, this shirt is hard. XL, BB, B and B sales, quality firearms, North Hollywood, with the bumblebees, with the <laughs> the bumblebees with the guns. Wait, this is the coolest shirt in here. Wait, that's so nuts. 
minutes. <laughs> this looks like a kid did it and it's like supposed to look like that. I don't know, it has like paint marks and stuff on it too. Race for Revenue, Washington Area Bank. We got the US Bank front and back hit. Oh, it's an it's a tavern, it's an ale. I don't know, single stitch all the way around. Oh, look at this tea, Gildan XL. Just a buck, change their luck. Look at that. That's a cute tea. That'll go to Depop. We got a Mexico tea. This one is like pretty cheap and the graphic is like cracking. Raw oysters, oral gratification. Oral gratification. This looks like a tech tea. There's a computer, there's like a floppy disk, but it's like art style. This is really cool. XL, Hanes Beefy, single stitch all the way around. Oh, we got an Enough International. This is like a crop top. What is V1? What is that? Graphics pretty dope. 22, Mean Machine. Who is the Mean Machine? Number 22, this one is single stitch. Looks like an 80s tee. Pain is weakness leaving the body. The Marines, size large. The Marines, single stitch Marines. Single stitch, the little navy blue destination tee. That is just gonna get donated or something. I mean, every day that we drive, we, and come home safe, we are drive survivors. That's absolutely true. This shirt weighs a million pounds. The Northern Michigan Hockey. This shirt was, this is made out of a brick. I don't know what to tell you. It is so heavy. Central Washington, double stitched. The University, we got the Eagle. Gildan, size large, the USMC. Ireland, single stitch, the little Ireland destination tee. The Do The Puyallup box logo. What year is this from? 1999. Oh wait, is this the year that the thing came out? Yeah, it's new. So this is the year that, I think it's called the Extreme Scream at the Puyallup Fair came out in 1999. I remember being a little kid and like, being so afraid to write it. I don't think I wrote it until I was like a teenager, but that's actually kind of sick. The Puyallup Fair box logo. Maui trilogy shirt. Who knew that Maui was a trilogy? Textured like native style tee. I don't know. It's all inside the JCPenney shirt, but it's like very cracked in the logo. That'll probably get donated. USS Arizona, Pearl Harbor. Will someone buy this? I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This is the last tee of that layer. We have one more layer to go. One more layer to go. And then all the crew necks. I will count up how many items it is and I'll include it at the end. Number shirt. I don't know. It is a number shirt. It is on a, oh, it's on a good tag though. This is a gold like Russell. So I'm pretty sure this is like 70s. All right, last layer, last layer. Can you guys get a little peek in there? There's your guys' little peek. I'm putting you back here. Let's go for the Pokemon shirt first. I feel like it's, there's no way it's gonna be vintage. Oh, this is interesting. This is a 5XL, the Pokemon Discover Lab. Pokemon Discover Lab event team. I'm gonna have to look this up. Probably like 2000s, I don't know. Maybe this is a rare grail. Is this just about mooses? How have they been established it's since 1957? I'm pretty sure mooses have been alive longer than that. Mooses? Mooses? Mises? Mies? Moose? I'm losing it. Oh wait, I have these same two shirts listed on my Depop right now. It's like a Yellowstone. Yeah, Yellowstone. So I already have that shirt. And then I already have this shirt listed too. Yeah, I have this shirt on my Depop too and it has not sold. 3XL jerseys tag. Oh, yo! <laughs> I'm going crazy. If you guys watched one of my wholesale videos, this had to be months ago, but you guys might have seen this shirt. I'm pretty sure I showed it and talked about it. 3XL, never a dull moment. It's a green garden foods and it's like all of these vegetables so bummed that they're about to get like sliced up. I'm pretty positive I showed this shirt and I was like, I really like shirts like these, but like who's gonna buy them? And it's in the box. So that's actually really funny. This is like a really nice color too. I don't know why I just love that shirt so much. Never a dull moment. Corvette Club, yeah, that's actually kind of dope. Corvette Club, okay. The Sleepless in Seattle, pretty cracked graphic. The Panama Canal right there. If you guys uh, like Bose, my dad actually really likes Bose products, so we got the Bose. This is like a cool little floral art tee. It's kind of dope. Yup. Oh, yup. We got the Live hard, ride hard. This is actually perfect Depop inventory. Stuff like this, easy $20 on Depop. Live hard, ride hard. Just a little embroidered tee. Mom's weekend, this is definitely like a, uh, not a frat. What is it called when it's not a frat? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I'm going 
crazy. Who are the Nevilles? They're brothers. It has their website on the back. Another Mom Weekend shirt from the thing that I, I forget what it's called. The shirt also weighs a thousand pounds. The Mom Weekend. What is it called? It's not a fraternity. It's not a frat. Sorority, a sorority, a sorority shirt. There we go. Holy crap. M heads? M heads? M heads. I don't know. United States Olympic Figure Skating Training Center. Shout out to the Olympic figure skaters. You guys are doing so great. Oh, there's a Stussy T down here. Okay. Size large Stussy T. It has a pretty big hole right there, though. Pretty big hole, but we do have a Stussy T, like a 2000 Stussy T. Bahamas, like dual collared. We got the little dual sleeve details in there too. You got the purple, the purple. That should at least be like 15 bucks or so on Depop. New Zealand bar tour has some stains on it too. Put that in the like maybe donate pile. We have a Mardi Gras shirt. This is an XL, the Millennium Mardi Gras tee. Oceanography, I don't know. Any oceanographers out there want that one? Oh no, not this shirt. This was also in a previous video. It's the dad, you're my dad, and I love ya man shirt, but they use the wrong your. It's dad, you're my dad, like Y-O-U-R. Moose drool, what the heck? Moose drool ale? We're almost done. We're so close. My arms are so sore. What is this? Shout out to the polka people. Oh, it's a saloon, Moose's Saloon. There we go. Little Palm Springs, like native tea. Oh, we had this shirt earlier, but this is like a different color. The Garden of the Gods, Colorado. I've also been to the Garden of the Gods. This is uh, the one that's like has the print on the collar. That's really cool. So we have two of these. We had a red one, I think, like a maroon one, and now we have a green one. Oh my God. <laughs> The eagle is riding the motorcycle. Ride hard. Okay, yep, that'll sell on Depop. So sexy, so spicy, so Italian. Single stitch, size medium. That was a great ad for that shirt. Got that little puff print. The Joker run. The graphic's pretty dope. Some sort of bike run or actual run where you physically run. There's Jokers there waiting for you at the end of the finish line. This one is an XL. Pacific Northwest Ballet. The Corvette and Company, Renton, Washington. Interesting little graphic, like native graphic. This is everything we have left. Here we go. Okay, Emerald Queen Casino. I had one of these shirts earlier, the Signal Sports. Los Angeles, California. Danskin? Isn't there like a something skin brand? Let me know. Dan Danskin or something? This one is single stitch all the way around. The graphic is very interesting. We have an all over print fish shirt. Okay. I'll take that. A single stitch all over print fish shirt. We have another one of these Emerald Queen Casino shirts. Remington. Oh, we got a Remington rifle shirt. 25 straight. Get her done. <laughs> My what? <laughs> the Remington Larry the Cable Guy collab? This looks like some military or sailing related thing. I'm not entirely sure. That little logo is really cool. Back graphic is kind of meh. XL Emerald Queen Casino grand opening. My God, how many different shirts did they print? I wish this graphic was on the front, but it's a little hit like that. And then you got the hit on the back. Dos Equis. The Dos Equis. I like that little hit down there though. That's pretty dope. The last tee is, is this the fireworks tee again? Yeah, it is. This is another fireworks tee. The, that's crazy though. I wish this was any other shirt because look at this collar. I think this probably used to be red, but it's like a pink now. That is all of the tees. Oh my God, my legs. I'm going to reposition the camera to do the uh, crew next because I can't sit like this anymore. Give me one second. Okay, from here now, I have a little bit more energy, took a little break. So we're gonna go through the crew decks now. I have a decent amount of crew decks, gonna flash through them. Here we go, we got a lot of them, let's go. New Rockford, North Dakota? Yeah, North Dakota. This one definitely has some stains throughout it though. UNLV, the UNLV, I really like the details of this one though. University of Nevada. Las Vegas, the WSU Cougars crew neck, size medium, the Virgin Islands, Michigan, Stephen Mary's arch spell out with the embroidered logo. I really like this one. This one's very colorful. This is a waves tag. Really like that tag. What is this guy? Tofino BC, Tofino, I don't know. But the graphic is really cool on this one. Really like that one. So we're gonna be keeping that one. USA, JC Penney's like USA. I've sold a few of these in the past. I kind of stopped picking them up because I feel like they don't sell for much i feel like this is maybe 15 ish dollars princeton yeah princeton so we got a lot of like college sweaters i'm not entirely sure what some of these like university colleges like what they'll go for but definitely think they're worth it for the deal that we got them for the large xl fast 
it just says fast on it shout out to going fast shout out ricky bobby we have the xl made in usa russell athletic athletics the russell athletics we have the ucr what is ucr i know vcr i don't know ucr edinburgh university edinburgh i don't know you guys i'm really stupid so the edinburgh you know i would not be able to go to the edinburgh university i can't even say it. i would not be able to go to the university anyways this is some media this video is just terrible <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in. All right, we got the Alaska, Last Frontier, Alaska. I really like that uh, brown. That's a really nice brown color. Dude, why isn't this on the front? Like this, this graphic is honestly really sick, but it's on the back. This has a little embroidered logo right there. The Patagonia, what would you call this? It's like a long sleeve, but it's kind of like sweatshirt material. I don't know. That's kind of nice, honestly, kind of dope. Rocket Gear, American made, XL really nice like heavy duty sweatshirt though really nice color we got a nice little loveless vibe sweater this one has some stains on it but we got the flowers sweater this one seems like dead stock really good condition very very soft on the inside and it is like embroidered the washington state patrol just the little hit right there i feel like this is like an 80s crew neck just a camo crew neck with no tag no idea if it's vintage Nice little camo crew neck. I don't know, I've never sold like a blank camo crew neck. We have an army crew neck. No idea the uh, year, but it says made in USA. Nice little army spell out. FBI? Yo, the XL, made in USA. FBI Los Angeles. Gap Athletics, size medium. The nice little G. This looks like a like, Tommy Hilfiger thing. Large, through the looms, probably like an 80s. Cause I'm proud to be an American. Okay, so we got the proud to be an American, but this is like paper thin, like very, very paper thin crew neck. Halloween Toltec size medium. Look at that little cap. Got the hoodie, central. Oh, this is the Corvette dealership thing. The Corvette and company. This is a short sleeve crew neck with the weird logo on the front. Not sure what the logo means. What does this logo mean? Is that Corvette related? I don't know. This is like one of those like Kellogg cereal box, like super cheap material size XL USA. Do these have any value? Are these like just $10 or less? Like I don't, I don't know if these have any value, but we have this that was like in the little bundle. We have the Narrows Crossing Tacoma Narrows. I'm not entirely sure, but we got that. Long Beach, Washington, little like quarter zip destination thing. Ordal Lutz, the Ordal Lutz Bitterroot Rally. I don't know, graphics pretty dope. Some nice little like native style horses. Brandy Melville, that's what it is. This is a Brandy Melville, so it's not old, it's not vintage. It's just like a Brandy Melville, like new age made to look old crew neck ireland ireland embroidered uh, vintage crew neck with the like what is this harpsichord something like that do the pyalp 1994 the year of my birth that is the year of my birth 1994 morning sun like winter scenery like nice little winter bridge i wish i was there right now the levi's jeans wear reno national champion air races 1994 toltex tag it just has the little hit right there this might be a good one I'm not too good with like hoodies and true vintage stuff. It at least looks 80s. It does have like some separation in the back, like some holes. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, it does have a tag. I'm so smart. It's a casual wear. Casual wear, 50-50, made in USA, size large. Yeah, anybody know? Is this a good one? Did I find a good one? WSU on the 2000s jersey. Team equipment. This is like another like bum equipment, like ripoff. Washington State University alumni. This is a 2XL on a jerseys tag. You guys, for 150 bucks for everything i've showed you guys it's gonna take a lot of work a lot of the items are gonna sit but i think we can't i think we came up what does that say i don't know world of my cursive reading today is just terrible this is like a 2000s reverse weave maryland converse all-star just a little embroidered logo right there here's the tag yeah paper under tag this has to be like 90s another like winter scenery little cottage little cabin little house god i wish i was there we did it <laughs> the last stack <laughs> All right, here we go. Washington Coast, another one of these like touristy, like quarter zip things. New York, like arch spell out. That's pretty dope. If this is like 90s, which I believe it probably is. This is really nice, like faded navy. You got the New York. We got a starter with a just little embroidered logo right there. The sport line. I don't know what that is. Probably like a defunct, failed brand, but I really like the greens. Very dope greens. All American Grandpa. 
with the little baseball. Shout out all the grandpas out there. Shout out my grandpa, which watches my videos sometimes. Not sure if I'll make it to the end of this one. Dear Lord, it's so long. Really nice, like quality, thick crew neck, but not sure if anyone's gonna want that. Depop style textured sweaters, not really Kooji style at all, but I've sold these before for like 25 bucks or so. Now they're really, really thick, very, very thick quality crew neck. Thank you guys so much for watching. The last one is a size XL fully embroidered Irish, has an embroidery on the back. I'm going to count all of these pieces. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. This is Jackson with Love This Vintage. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you guys want any of this stuff. Make sure to DM me on Instagram or just check out my Depop. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.